morning welcome to another video vlog whatever you want to call them i am on the lovely coco don't look too closely it's a bit tingy <laughs> not the cleanest um we have come for a little trek in the woods because i just had enough of riding on the roads at the moment i fancy a change of scenery and it's so lovely and cool in here as well um i don't know whether it's going to be quite wet that's the only downside this woods can be quite a wet woods you need it to be fairly dry to be able to come in here but i thought We'll have a look. We'll see how we get on. Um, it's Thursday today. Tomorrow, Corporal and I have something very exciting to do. And I have been promising him this for a very long time. And that is, we're going to go jumping. Um, just practice show jumping, cross country, that kind of thing. But um, I have been promising him for such a long time. I actually worked out through going through my Instagram that it has been four years since I last took him. Oh, hang on, let's navigate the, the low branch. Um, it's been four years since I have taken him out to jump um, and the last time was Rutchley Farm. I have a little picture from it. Tomorrow we're going to go to Wickstead. Um, it actually works really well. I thought it's perfect time for him to have a little play, a little treat after all his dressage. Um, Billy, my livery horse, needs to go out as well with his rider so we can do it together, share the cost because, you know, these places are never cheap. Um, so yeah, going to Wixted Horse Play, which has show jumps and some cross country jumps, which is why it's ideal for Coop, because I don't want to jump him on um, actually on the grass cross country wise. It's really hard to know whether to do it or not. I feel very sort of like half of me thinks, no, I shouldn't jump him, don't want to risk breaking him. But on the other part, I just know how much he'll love it. And, you know, I, everything's a risk, isn't it? You know, any, anytime you get cantering is a risk. So I think I just have to someone appeared out of the trees while I was talking. I get so embarrassed. Quickly whip that phone down. Um, anyway, I got completely lost my train of thought other than that we're going to witch it tomorrow and I can't wait. Good morning. I thought I'll do a quick good morning now and I'm going to get on. But um, actually, I've got plenty of time. I say that and then I probably work out. I won't have plenty of time. Um, yeah, I've got about an hour and a half before we're leaving this morning. I feel like garbage. <laughs> And I have had this before where I don't know whether it's my nerves or whether it, it's I've eaten something that's made me feel rubbish. Um, I did eat a very rough looking donut from Morrison's last night. Um, but my, and my nerves, there are times when I think, why would I be nervous? So I assume it's not my nerves when it probably is my nerves. Um, because there's actually plenty of stuff to be nervous about. <laughs> I'm always nervous. Yeah, there's... I just know that I'll be nervous because I don't want to break him. I'll be nervous because I haven't jumped a course on him in four years. I'll be nervous because I haven't ju even jumped a fence on him in a month, like in a month. So I just have a feeling these are probably nerves. Show jumping was always my nemesis as an event rider, always. Um, even though, you know, I wasn't a bad show jumper, I just used to overthink it all the time. So I can't, I think these are nerves. I'm not doing it. And it's just coming back to me and I'm just thinking, oh gosh, the pressure. Um, so I'm hoping they die down because I'm feeling pretty yuck right now. You're, you're, the more videos you watch, the more you realise I just spend my life being nervous. Anyway, I'm going to get on, get Artie mucked out first. Um, but like I say, I've got a bit of time. I need to go and get the lorry. Uh, and then hopefully so I'm going to find some excitement, get rid of this feeling. And uh, it's all about enjoying today. This, this is not meant to be, you know, not meant to cause me pain in nerves. This is meant to be a pleasurable, enjoyable experience for Coop and I having a jump. Don't need to feel like this. Poor old Coop is back in very itchy mode. You can see here he's been doing his shoulder really badly. He's just it actually happened at Heartbreak, luckily, after his dressage test. Um, I don't know if you saw my vlog, but he was being very stampy, and obviously that was why. But um, it's a nightmare because that's what he wants to do all the time, and it's just he's destroying his tail a lot at the moment. Like I said, the shoulder. Um, he's got some cuts on his head where he's been smacking him in. Look at his tail. I mean, that's with a rug on. You can see around here. Can you see how his coat's changed? So that's really frustrating. But, you know, thank God he didn't do it before the champs. It just makes him quite grouchy, understandably so. It's very annoying. Look at it. Oh, it's been worse down by his girth area as well. I noticed he's been having a go out. To be honest, it's not really where he can reach. But yeah, a bit disappointing. Poor old Bean.
It's not something you see every day, is it? I could hear it a mile off. Glad I didn't meet that out hacking. heading down to get the boys in i thought i'd finish the vlog video whatever we call it um feeling tired i'm always tired feeling chuffed though he was so cool it was really um just super enjoyable and god is he just a legend of a jumper i mean for a horse that hasn't jumped a course in four years wow like he hasn't forgotten anything um, and things like the skinnies, he just blows my mind because he's so honest and so straight and just, I feel like I could literally take him to an event tomorrow. And he'd be just like, yeah, cool, <laughs> let's get on with it. Um, so I think he's very chuffed. I'm not obviously going to be re-registering with British Eventing. Uh, those days are long behind us, but uh, it was really nice to do. He deserved the treat. And hopefully that will keep his spirits high. First at the beginning of the video, his allergies haven't been brilliant. But um, things like that, I just know, give him a real boost. Uh, so yes, it was good, fun to do. I'm not sure, I haven't edited it yet, but I'm not sure how many good clips we've got. Being that um, there's quite a few in slow-mo. And there's actually some in super fast as well. So <laughs> not really any in normal speed. But I'm sure with the video editing I can do something with those um so probably not loads of clips but I wanted this one for the memory bank I just thought it'd be so lovely to catch some clips of him jumping like I said before I don't have anything from the eventing days so uh I would say <laughs> it doesn't make me necessarily want to do a jumping I've always enjoyed jumping and and when I was younger I kind of I've always loved dressage as well a lot but I was always a bit like every now and then I had to, like I needed to jump because otherwise it was like too much dressage. Whereas today I was like, you know, what? I uh, blimmin' love dressage. <laughs> um, I just like no, I could never go back to it. I don't think even if you know it was with a different horse and whatever, I just don't think it's for me. Just as much as I enjoyed it, I didn't. There was no feeling of like, oh, I wish I was doing this properly again. I was just like, I love dressage. So uh, yeah, so that was interesting. Um, it was nicer. I have to say, if anyone who's going, the cross country bit, which I didn't do, the ground was not good. It was really hard and very stony. I mean, I certainly wasn't going to jump coop on it. And I know that Lauren only did like the bare minimum with Billy just so that she could jump a couple of like the ditch in the water that she wanted to practice over. But yeah, it was it wasn't very nice, I must say. Um, the jumps on the arena were perfectly pleasant and the surface was fine. There wasn't a great course up or anything like that. It's the only other thing I moan about on this. It's just that there wasn't a great course set out. And maybe that's because they've done, I don't know. Maybe it was like an eventing type competition there last where they did show jumping across country. Because it just seemed like there was the majority of the fences were all off the left. And there was only literally a hand, well, no, two fences, I think, that you could jump from the right. There was a lot. Everything else jumped off the left, so it didn't make for a great course. But... Other than that, it was nice to do. And I love jumping the cross-country jumps on the surface. Like, they were my favourite things I did with Coop. So, I'm really pleased we got to do that. I did also find a nail in the car park, but that can happen to anyone. So, um, yeah, so that was nice. Anyway, he's just a legend. He's just incredible. He just still gives the most amazing feel. Oh, like, like he'd still back eventing. That's how he felt. Like, nothing's changed, which I just think is incredible. I mean, wow, what a horse. Hey, Bills. Um, what a horse. So, anyway, he's a clever boy. Hello. You were clever too, weren't you? Yeah, you were very happy to be out with Coop. Yes, you were. Anyway, I'm going to bring these boys in. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that little video. It was uh, nice to do something different other than dressage.